Mass and energy balance for biosystem is a compulsory course for forestry engineering undergraduate study program at Institute Technology Bandung. This course is offered in the event semester and the lecturers responsible for this subject are me, Yusuf and Lily from School of Life Sciences and Ethnology, Institute Technology Bandung. This course consists of 16 modules and this is the first module, Introduction, Segment 1, Course Overview. We shall begin this module with the course description. This subject will elaborate on conservation principles, mass balance and energy balance. References used in this course include textbooks as well as numerous high-index journals to discuss recent developments of mass and energy balance in biosystem. Evaluation methods used in this course include assignments, quizzes and examinations. There are three learning outcomes that need to be achieved by students at the end of this course. First, students able to explain conservation principles of mass and energy. Second, students able to construct equations for mass and energy balance. And third, students able to identify and solve problems related to mass and energy balance in biosystems. The content of this course consists of 16 modules. The first module is Introduction. The second module is Quantitation and Solving Problems. The third module is Foundation of Conservation Principles, Part 1. The fourth module is Conservation of Principles, Part 2. The fifth module is Conservation of Mass, Part 1. The sixth module is Conservation of Mass, Part 2 followed by creative presentation and midterm examination. Module 9 is Conservation of Energy Part 1. Module 10 is Conservation of Energy Part 2. Module 11 is Energy and Mass Flow Through Ecosystems Part 1. Module 12 is Energy and Mass Flow Through Ecosystems Part 2. Module 13, Energy and Mass Flow Through Ecosystems Part 3. Module 14 is Carbon Balance and Storage, followed by Case Study Presentation and Final Examination. There are three major references used in this study with the main textbook is Bioengineering Fundamentals, authored by Sutterbuck et al., supported by a second textbook, Ecological Engineering Design, authored by Matlock et al., in addition, numerous high-index journals are often referred when discussing recent application of mass and energy balance in biosystem. Evaluation methods used in this course include assignments, quizzes and examinations. There are two assignments which contribute 20% to the final score. The first is case study and the second one is creative presentation, which will be discussed in detail in the next slide. There are four quizzes that contribute 10% to the final score. The first quiz covers the topic from module 3 to module 4. The second quiz includes the topic from module 5 to module 6. The third quiz covers the topic from module 9 to module 10, whereas the fourth quiz includes the topic from module 11 to module 12. There are two examinations, midterm examination and final examination, each contributes 35% to the final score. Assignment 1 is case study. Students must work in groups which consists of 3 to 4 students to write a paper based on the data from Scopus Index Journals to describe recent applications of mass and energy balance in biosystem. As for the topic, each group may choose either application of mass or energy balance in a biosystem. Assignment 1 is Creative Presentation. Students must work in groups which consist of 5 to 6 students and to review the modules that they have learned up to module 6 as a preparation for the midterm examination. 
Each group must present what they have learned in a creative way, such as performing a theatre, singing a song, reading a poem, or other creative ways that students find attractive, as the presentations will be evaluated by failure students. Students may want to check the YouTube, for example, of a creative presentation. As for the timeline, this course will be delivered in 16 modules. Topics for assignment 1 has been given in this segment. Quiz 1 will be carried out in the 5th module. In module 7, students will be given quiz 2, followed by creative presentation. Midterm examination will be conducted in module 8, whereas quiz 3 in module 11 and quiz 4 in module 13. Students will present their case study in module 15, followed by final examination in module 16. For the next segment, we will discuss about variables, units, and dimensions. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.